So we are here with Professor Daryl Holliday with the University of Holy Cross Food Science Program, and he is helping us really kind of dig in and take a closer look at what's the real scoop of these alkaline waters. So you've got this alkaline meter. Tell us a little bit of how this works. Right, so we have a pH meter here. So if its pH is between one and seven, it's acidic, seven being neutral. And if it's above seven, then we call it basic, which is that focus on alkaline waters. So our standard seven, when we put it in, it's gonna read 6.9. So within a 0.01 is really accurate into what we push for. And now we're at seven, so we know it's reading really accurate. So you knew that already that standard is your solution. So this is basically just calibrating your machine. Correct, right? it's kind of okay. showing us to make sure that our machine is actually running like it should be. So now we put it into a pH solution of four. And so it does take a little bit of time to go down as the electrons and protons are activating on the probe. So 4.02, 4.01, so we know with this one we're really accurate. And then again, we wanted to shake off the excess as we go to the next solution. This one being our pH of 10, kind of the alkaline that they're pushing for. You'll see a lot of the alkaline waters pushing for pHs of eight to seven plus eight to 10. So we wanna go ahead and get a standard for uh, the water in the West Bank as a pH. So as we start to look at the pH, we're actually seeing that the tap water is actually naturally basic and we're see, or alkaline, and we're seeing a pH of about 8.3. We want to point out that you have the color indicator in here. We don't right. have blue water on the West Bank. And then I've got the metery water. Let's see what this is. Sure. Okay. And we're seeing that metery in New Orleans East is uh, still alkaline, but just not as much at about 7.66, 7.65. Great, okay. The next bottle up is Aqua Hydrate. It's advertising a pH of 9 plus, uh, saying it's with electrolytes and great taste. So we crack the bottle open and let's see where its pH or alkalinity actually falls. And we are at 9.1 uh, and climbing, so definitely at their pH of 9 plus. Ooh, potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> we have to be careful with those in the lab because they can actually like burn yourself the uh, base with them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so the next product is Alkalife 10. They're saying that it's a spring water with the alkaline of pH of 10, but they are adding two pretty strong uh, oxidizers to make them alkaline. They're adding uh, sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. So in the lab, we use those to denature things like hydrochloric acid. So they're very strong bases. And so they're again, creating a alkaline water by adding a strong base. And we're seeing here, they're advertising a pH of 10 and we're really only at a pH of about 9.6. So again, not every bottle you buy is what they're advertising. 